Here we are again with the 6x9s and uh, somebody messaged me on the previous video saying do the test again at 55 or 60 hertz to match the frame rate. Even 30 hertz would give a slower wobble on film. I replied saying match the frame rate, those aren't even my frame rates lol. He replied saying, so can you do it at a multiple of whatever your frame rate is? If you can get the cone to move 1 hertz faster or slower than the frame rate, you will be able to get a much cleaner visual of the excursions. And you know what? He's actually got a point. So that is why I'm doing this again. Also, these speakers come in pairs. So what I've done is I've swapped them around. So we will probably end up seeing smoke at some point. So now we're going to begin. And by the way, because I swapped these speakers around, this one is the noisy one. Uh, the cone is not aligned properly. And uh, yes, this is going to make a bit of a racket. So I'm going to press play on this and turn up the volume a little bit. And as you can see, it's moving and it's moving a lot slower. So that's a good thing. But also, like I said, this is the noisy speaker. So check this out. That is all speaker. That is the voice coil scraping the magnet. So as you can see, it moves a lot slower and it's a little blurry, but that's what happens when you do this. So. That was maximum excursion. And now onto the next one. Okay, so here we have the next one and I'll just place this underneath it to keep it in one place, hopefully. And uh, this one is also probably gonna smoke. So let's see what happens and how far are it excursions And yes, there we have the smoke. So uh, also what I'll do with this is probably see if it plays full range because I'm not too sure if it will now. And that's some very smelly smoke, by the way. And on to the next one. Here we have the JBL. I called these JVC last time for some reason. Hopefully these ones don't blow up because I quite like them, like I said last time. Not bad. And on to the next. And here we have the Edge speakers. Oh yeah, by the way, somebody last time said I couldn't use crocodile clips on some of these speakers. What a weirdo. Anyway, here we go. Not bad. And this started moving forwards. Let's put that back. And here we have the Vibe speakers, which I think have the biggest magnets out of the lot of them. And these are the last ones, the Sony speakers. Not sure what that was. I think that might have been polystyrene. Okay, so this is a speaker that started smoking. In the other video in which I tested out these 6x9s, the same speaker smoked. Obviously it wasn't this one, it was the other one. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if it still plays full range because in the comments for that video, somebody said that the tweeters might have blown. So I'm going to play this track which somebody also asked me about on Instagram. And this track is not public. I didn't really, um, I didn't complete it. I liked it as it was and it was a little too simple to make public. But um, I'm just going to play this briefly and we're going to see if this still plays full range.
Okay, that's a bit strange. It seems fine to me. Yeah, so that's a little odd. I wonder what the smoke was all about. Anyway, I just wanted to keep this short and uh, there we have it.